Hello, Algebra 2 folks, and welcome to Linear Inequalities. Today, you need your notebook, your guided notes that I gave you in class. If you don't have them, you're going to need to print them off the website, a calculator, and a ruler or a straight edge. So let's go ahead and start with the learning target. The learning target is, I can graph linear inequalities. Okay, in order for us to do that, we need to know some important steps or rules. So um, take out your notes, and we will talk about the first thing we need to do. The first thing you need to do is make sure you solve for y and graph your points using y equals mx plus b. Okay, you'll use your intercept, you'll make a point, you'll use your slope to get another point. Now, before you connect those points, you want to ask yourself if it's a solid line or a dashed line. If you know that already, if you know what that means already, awesome. If not, wait a second and I'll talk to you about what it means to be a solid or a dashed line in a second. Then you're going to shade. You're going to decide which side of the line you shade on and you shade it. You color it in. When you're solving for y, you want to remember that you have to flip the inequality sign if you're dividing or multiplying by a negative. And also, you don't want to forget about horizontal and vertical lines. Because even horizontal and vertical lines can be linear inequalities. Okay? So, if you have a solid line, we will be... The way you know you have a solid line is if you have a less than or equal to or a greater than or equal to sign. Those will make you have a solid line. A dashed line would be a less than or a greater than sign. Okay? And then this check area is where we're going to decide where we shade. So before we can do that, we're going to have to graph our, our line. So let's take 2x minus 3y is less than 12 and graph it. In order to graph it, I need to solve for y. So I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. I get negative 3y is less than negative 2x plus 12. Now I need to solve for y, get y alone. So I'm going to divide by negative 3. I divide everything by negative 3. I'm dividing by negative 3. Wasn't that number 4 bullet on the previous page? When you divide by a negative, you must flip the inequality sign. So I need to take this inequality sign and flip it. Negative 2 divided by negative 3 is 2 thirds x, and 12 divided by negative 3 is negative 4. So this is the graph that I need to graph on my, on my graph paper. So I use my y-intercept, which is my y-intercept is negative 4, so I go down to negative 4, and I make a point. Then I go up to over 3, make another point. I can go up to and over 3 and make another point. Okay, But I am not going to draw this line until I've decided if I'm going to shade, I mean, excuse me, unless I have a solid line or a dashed line. So before I can draw that line, decide, do I have a solid line or a dashed line? So I go back to the original problem. And it does not have a less than, um, a greater than or equal to sign or a less than or equal to sign. So it doesn't have this little thing right here. Therefore, it means I am going to dash this line. So all across your paper, your graph paper, you will dash your line and put arrows. Now you have to decide where you're going to shade. Do I shade above or do I shade below? This is where checking is going to come into play. So pick a point anywhere on the graph. Oh, I hear you say 0, 0. So I am going to try the point 0, 0. Okay, so I am going to plug in the point 0, 0 into the original, gra into the original equation. Always use the original equation. Okay, I'm going to plug 0 into x, I'm going to plug 0 into y, and I am going to solve the one side, figure out what the one side equals, 2 times 0 is 0, minus 3 times 0 is 0, 
0 minus 0, okay, that's 0. And I am going to ask myself, is this true or is this false? Well, 0 is definitely less than 12 in my world. So this point, 0, 0 is true. If that point is true, then every point up here is also true. It doesn't matter which one it is. Do you have to test 0, 0? No. Could we have tested 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 4? Could we have used this point into the original? Yes. We could have used this point. We could have even used one down here. Okay? But if the point you check is true, that is where, oops, I'm sorry, that is where you shade. Okay, this is where I am shading. If you were to test one of these points down here, you would find that when you checked it, it would be false. And we never shade false regions. We only shade true regions. So you would shade the opposite if you got a false. All right, so it's really important that you know how to solve for y. You know how to graph your points using y equals mx plus b. You need to know um, whether you have a solid line or a dashed line. You need to check to make sure where you shade. And then don't forget that when you're solving for y, if you divide by a negative, you have to flip the inequality sign. Okay? That's all I have for you today. We'll see you back tomorrow to do some more practice problems. Thanks.